All right, ladies and gentlemen, what did I tell y'all, man? We're over here working, snipping, cutting, presenting. All right, so right now we got Paul Ferguson speaking with Randy's entire family. Yes, you heard that right. His entire family. His son, wife, just fam. Like, hey, meet this young man, this outstanding young man that we that we just want to see win in this world. You know, we just want to see this guy win out of all people. Yes, Paul. So yeah, shit, stuff, shit gets awkward to say the least. It is very awkward. The, the family, their hands, they're all crossed like this. They're all crossed, just politely ever so calm, calmly crossed. Like, all right, so... It's super weird. We're gonna go ahead and check out this um, this phone call. And Paul, Paul, with his narcissistic ass, he's just enjoying himself. He's like, oh my god, people to talk to. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, folks. We're gonna jump into this, and I hope you guys enjoy, man. We're coming strong. We're coming long. Check out the Patreon for exclusive fiance calls. Let's do it. Like what? Three hands? Hi. Nah. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? How are you? Baby girl or baby girl? <laughs> baby Hi. girl. Paul, no, that baby girl. Sh this is Paul talking to women is disgusting. It is some nasty work. It is some nasty fucking work hearing Paul talk to a woman. The way he says "baby" to her. Just, just, just hold on. Just hold on for me. Just wait for me. Y'all gonna hear it eventually. Melissa Myers, welcome in. Welcome to the member. Welcome to the gang. Appreciate you. This is my wife. Hi. Hello. Thanks. We get straight into the weird. Hello, this is my wife. Okay. How are you? Hey. Hi. Oh, this is my wife. Hi. Hello. Nice this is our son, too. Isaac. Hi. Nice to meet you. And then uh, our other daughter, I told you, is in college, so she's out of the home for a while. Okay. And our dog's running around here for a while. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Shout out Verna, the big Patreon member. You're going crazy over mess. there. Yep. How have you been? You okay? Very much so. Hanging in there? Yeah, yeah I just made it live just in time to be reminded of gross, how gross Paul is. You guys are funny. Yeah. So I was telling uh, my family some about you. I'm um, just. Uh, You're hilarious, uh, Melissa. Icon, you like to write. Um, what what kind of stories do you like to write? Alternate realities of a of a reality that's already been created. Oh, that's fun. Isaac likes to write too. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah. What What did and he say? Go ahead. I'm sorry. I say that again. Out. Yo, Lesha? Yes, ma'am, you did catch the live. Welcome in. Just a couple of scribbles here and there, you know, nothing too big. Um, he likes to write uh, yeah. small stuff. Small stuff, too. But it's mostly anime, uh, themed said what? things you like to write, or? Yeah. It's mostly it's anime at. that you like to write? I see. Cool. Have you ever watched the show Doctor no. Who? <laughs> I've heard of it. I've heard of it, but I've never watched. You ever heard it. of that? Okay. I bet you would like it. Ike's a really big fan of that. Me too. <laughs> and, oh yeah. So, so is Kim. Science, Science fiction and fantasy like is my thing. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said anime? horse teeth. You guys are, you know, what's weird to me is like, is like his whole family is participating. That's what's the craziest part. It's like, all right, my husband's being weird again. No. Okay. What's weird to me is that sure. Like, you know, Randy's having his little fixations again, but the fact that both his son and his wife are willing to to you know what I mean participate in this shit. That's the weird part. That's the weird the shit. Wise or just in general. My hero academia has always has Either been a favorite for years. 
I've watched all the way to that pit. They came out with the six, like, I think last year or the year before. It was the biggest season of the wall because it was the war arc. Really? My sister, uh, my sister was the one who introduced me to it back when I was in Oklahoma. But I've been hooked ever since. Yeah. I had cosplay as a main character. Oh my god, of course you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Some of what you guys talk about <laughs> a little over yeah. my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the sci-fi nerd that they are, but so, uh, a little so bit. Do I don't have a lot. Is that what you're saying? What I do have, I enjoyed. Yep. That's fun. Awesome. Well, tell us. Uh, I was born in North where, Carolina. Where were you born at, Paul? North Carolina. And then how, well, how, I didn't, you threw out Oklahoma there. I didn't, uh, where did all of you live? Here, North Carolina. Um, it was either Putnam City or War Acres. I can't remember which. And then Edmond. Uh, yeah. I see. All right. Did your whole family live in Oklahoma? Uh, or, and you eventually moved after to After my dad and mom and dad and Shonda split up, uh, a little while later, she moved up here to start college. Yeah. See, this shit takes kind of a weird turn, guys, because in the last video, I went a bit out of order. I went to call four because they're talking about YouTubers and all that shit and they're getting mad. So it was a good, I, I had to go out of order. But now we're kind of going in order. We're on call number two. Um, it's it's kind of weird that at first we thought Randy was just like this helpful guy who thought that he could, you know, do something to help him. But now it gets even weirder. He brings his whole family. Like what is really going on with Randy? Like, you bring your wife and son to talk to some random kid in the entire world. But this one, you know, just happened to starve his little brother. But anyways, yeah, we're going to, and, and we're just going to talk and try to help you. This this is some weird shit. Like, it's starting to make less and less sense to me. Because at first I was like, yeah, Randy's of sound mind. Randy's totally normal. Bruh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm starting to go back on that statement. I don't need to pry. If there's something you don't want to talk about, you let me know. Paul. I'm just that kind of thing. Trying to get you know you, get to know you a little better. Okay. All right. Um, favorite states that you've not, lived in? Not particularly. I wouldn't they say they're the same, the same, but I don't have a particular favorite. Yeah. I've been to Florida and Washington. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh huh. The state of Washington. My dad was born there. Oh god. My dad was born there. I was uh, visiting my great grandparents. They lived on a uh, farm that the family owned. Mint and uh, dill. Wow, that's neat. Yeah. So. Huh. Well, that's neat. Tell us about. You said you uh, you missed. When your grandma passed away, you really missed her. And uh, it was a bit of a blow for you. Tell us about her. Back when we lived in she North Carolina, almost up. every day was spent at my grandparents' house. I remember we'd uh, wake up in the morning and she'd uh, make pancakes that was spelled in what the, the fuck they letters know each of other. our name. <laughs> the most useless conversation. I would see. I don't want to yeah. dig too deep into uh, Randy's whole situation because I don't want to expose anybody. But, I mean, he got some free time on his hands. That's all I'll say. Randy's over here, well, like, with his whole fucking family. It's like, as his wife, I would be like, bro, I'm not fucking going on no phone call with this weird-ass kid. The fuck? Randy, this is your weird obsession. Please keep it to yourself. Like, nah, bro. You bring my, my quote-unquote autistic son, because I think that's what he said. You're going to bring our son into this shit? Chill out. Remember, they had a wood that. stove for they like eating, and at one point I placed my hand on top of it. Yeah, I burned myself pretty bad. Uh -oh. She uh, she is there to comfort me. 
another time. Yeah. I was trying to go down there. No, you're good. You're good. The Just put it less. Four-wheeler they had, and the front wheels hit a rock and tipped me forward, busted my head open. Not badly that I needed stitches or anything, but, oh. you know, she is there to comfort me and everything. She was, she was a very godly woman. Nice. Uh, when did she pass away? I want to say it was about Remember? five or six years ago. On uh, Halloween, yeah. when she passed away. And if you notice, look at Randy's hands. Look at the whole family's hands. Like, look at this shit. Cross hand studious. It's like they're trying to get this information. They're so concerned and so interested. Cro all three of them cross handed, just sin upright. What is going on? This shit looks like this. This shit looks like a horror movie. Like some straight out of a fucking horror movie. It's like they'll just adopt them straight out of prison and there'll be some, like, evil family that wants to, like, I don't know, bro. Obviously, like, shout out to them. They're cool or whatever, but this shit is just weird. Yeah. This shit looks like oh. it's straight off of a horror movie. 21. How old are you? Paul? I'll be 22 in April. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You got a birthday coming up. Kim's birthday. The hills have eyes. Oh, yeah. shit. 10. April what? 19. 10th, I'm the uh, 19th. So, Aries on the Zodiac? Same. Yep, yep. Diamond for my stone. All right. Listen carefully. Anytime Paul hesitates to answer questions, Randy mentions, hey, Paul, did you get the, cam the commissary and phone cards, etc." Yeah, no, I already noticed that. The second time they talked, the, I mean, the first, um, the second time they spoke, Randy was like, I hope we get off at a better start there, Paul. R um, did you get that money I sent you? Like, basically, like, hey, don't bite the hand that feeds you. I could send you, I could send you as much as you need. I could be your sugar daddy. So, so chill out. Relax. Um, uh, how long did you live in North Carolina? I was 18. Then? Until you were how old? Then I moved up here. My, uh, oh, okay. uh, I wouldn't say it was their fault. I had problems with following rules, and my parents basically said either you can this follow these rules or you out. can find another place to live. And, of course, another thing that wasn't their fault, but I didn't have any real-life skills. I didn't know how to balance a paycheck. I didn't know how to pay rent or handle utilities or get credit on a credit card. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah. I had gotten in contact with Shonda. <laughs> well, I had gotten contact with Shonda at one fall. point and just in a day of stress raved to her and she offered me quote unquote sanctuary. It is giving me for it is giving me forced um forced interaction vibes for for sure. Like you know they're a family. They they move as a unit, whatever, whatever. But that that little all three of them cross handed, it, that shit is just weird to me. It's like okay, let's just do what he wants, so he doesn't. I don't know. I see. But I can work through a spreadsheet. I'm considering you know? once I uh, get out, trying to figure out something. So, What's up, Patty? How you doing? Honestly, I don't think I can really do another food job. I've had so many of them at this point. I'm just getting tired of it. You know, people ask me what you want for dinner and I'll tell them what I don't want, which is the yeah. place that I've worked at. Arby's, McDonald's, yeah. Taco Bell, Applebee's. I mean, you I'm should not, not want that shit by default. Listen, people, if you're getting fucking, I mean, I have my fast food arc. I still be doing it sometimes, but man, stay away from that shit. It's not good. It's, it's not good for you. That shit is terrible. And working in the kitchen, uh, now I can tell the difference. So now every time I go anywhere, I'm like, I'm always kind of looking, looking in the back, like, is what's, what's going on in there? But fast food, you could assume all the ingredients are trash. The, all the ingredients is like fake food. It's not even real. We're eating like fucking cardboard and some more shit. It's not, should, like, Taco Bell should be an automatic, 
And Taco Bell be hitting too. Taco Bell is, but just don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. I'm trying to just stay out of it completely. Fond of pizza after working at Hungry oh. Howie's. Yeah, but I figured maybe oh. with my imagination, perhaps I could figure something out. I'm not much for. He has 30 years to read up on life skills. <laughs> Writing, so long as I have a basic idea of what I want and can outline a story outline, I can, I can create a pretty impressive story. Okay. Isaac's working at a pizza place right now. <laughs> but we don't ever grow tired of pizza around here. The thing yeah. is, no, at all of the jobs like I've it. worked, you get one free meal a day. So, and after. A free meal a day of fast food. It yeah. just gets kind of blah. Very much it's, so. Yeah, a little boring. Yeah. It's <laughs> a little boring. You eating fast food every day. That's a little toxic. Not a little boring. Have you ever no, had a chance to do any college work? I don't think all? I had the uh, grades to do so. Yeah. I, I, I tried physics in junior year yeah. and flunked that hard. I well, didn't understand what the heck was going on in that class. Yeah. Very. Well, that's a complicated and topic. Here I, here I had been thinking after seeing some people in there, there it was there a bunch other... of uh, projects and whatnot. Yeah. Like somebody threw, threw complicated right. math and science together and it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I could do math. I could do right. algebra. Yeah. It's tough. But it's just physics yeah. is a nightmare. Well, if you can do algebra, you can get through physics eventually. But there's lots of courses to take, like at a community college. You know, you can learn graphic design. Very much so. Like that. I play Minecraft and Roblox a lot on the out. Minecraft question for me? Yeah. I don't know what I have in that. Um, uh, do you have a favorite? Did you do Bedrock or Java? Java or? Oh, Minecraft. Which one? Sorry. Oh, no, I, I know the, I know the two different know uh, versions. I, um, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. He's uh, trying to get the, his son and this murderer to bond. Remember, because like throughout the text messages, Shonda like, tells him what to do. But basically, he does everything to Timothy. Shonda, like, honestly, I, I don't really, I feel like he's the one that withholds the food. Shonda buys the things. She'll probably lock a few things up. But he's the one doing all the things. The ice baths. Who's doing it? Paul. Not Shonda. She can't, she won't go in and see his private parts because that's just not what she does. She doesn't see the, she doesn't go in there and invade their privacy. So, okay, so Paul's doing all that shit. He's withholding food. He's withholding food. He's gagging him. He's watching him do the wall sits. If we kind of just close our eyes and imagine it, I think Paul's doing most of the fucking work. So you're letting your son speak to this fucking, to a guy who did all that. I mean, it's not like Randy doesn't know the case yet. Randy's one of the, the law and crime guys. He watches channels like this. He's, he's into all the nitty gritty. So for sure... He's heard what's going on. Prosecutors, I mean, they just laid the facts out. That's it was what it was what it was. And he's still trying to get them to bond and talk about the video games they like. What type of shit is this? And as the son, I'd be like, Dad, what the fuck? Um I I'm leaving right now. Well, I can't I can't handle this. Like what the I'm leaving. Like the fuck are you uh, for What's the most up, Elizabeth? Part, I Welcome. played on my tablet and when I got a I played on that. Yeah, yeah. I've been. Uh, I've only ever played on yeah. computer I've, uh, Xbox myself. So. I've always wanted to get some of the like um, crazy mods I've seen on YouTube. I've seen ones where do zombies can dig, place blocks, and mm -hmm. TNT. Oh, Steve, uh, have you ever heard of Scramblecraft? Vanessa with the gifted membership. Big shout out to you. You're always amazing. Doing big things. I appreciate you. And shout out to Stars Alliance for getting that free membership. Shout you out. Throw it out the window. Okay, 
as everything is scrambled. You walk through another portal, you could end up in some dimension you don't even know what is. You gotta be careful when you throw a snowball because it might turn into an oh ender portal. Goodness. And when it rains, random objects fall from the sky. Not to mention they throw in a bunch of mods, so it's not just, you know, basic Minecraft. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more bosses to do other than just the Ender Dragon. And, oh. 2 a.m. here. Damn, it's 2 a.m. Where the hell are you? He's adorable. This is our dog, Scarlet Ball. Look, even the dog is getting traumatized, bro. This shit is crazy. The whole big happy family. You know the trucks when you see them and you see the daddy, the mommy, the son, the dog in the fucking little outline? The whole damn family. The whole happy family talking to a... This shit is weird, bro. The more I watch this shit... At first, I was like, ah, Randy's just writing the book. Ah, Randy's just... Nah, bro, Randy is really digging this shit. Randy's like, yeah, I fuck with you, Paul. Some about you. We just align, Paul. Some about you. Like, let's. I'm gonna let you meet my whole fucking family. I love you, bro. This shit what is kind? weird. Aw, thanks. <laughs> She's a hound mix. Maybe I'm a foxhound. We're not sure. We got our. Friends I, I honestly couldn't tell society. you very much about dog breed. The only thing I can, could really tell is. Whether someone's got an English style or an American. Ebony said he doesn't seem like he has a great grasp on reality. But the crazy thing is he seems to... I mean, I, they, I'm sure I could find this video with his face not blurred. Or I could request it myself. But it's like, I don't really care to. And there's always going to be that one person that goes and fucks with them. But f from the looks of it, bro seems pretty successful. Like, he does what he's doing. Like, you know what I mean? He has a house. Probably, you know, a little mortgage on the house. He got the... He got the dog, the wife, the son, works at seemingly a good job. I don't know. The dog can feel the tension. The energy is off. The vibes is weird. <laughs> through, the, through the electronics, the dog could feel the tension. But he seems very, like, aware of the world, which is what's the weird part to me. Dial lab. English styles of Yeah, folk. you can tell the difference. We had one. His name was Aslan. He was they my buddy. Very, yeah. The it, dog it was, was his buddy, but definitely not Timothy. Oh, it was my mother's choice. It was Shonda's choice. Was. She liked names that had uh, meaning. Because she they were trained for hypoglycemia alert. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But sure. when he bonded with me, he was, oh, really? he was my buddy. Ma'am, blink twice if you're in trouble, okay? And and do a head bob, sir, if you're in trouble. This guy is fucking crazy. Just let us know. <laughs> Very smart. You know, I could walk in from work. He was a chocolate lab. Okay. Was he black? Uh, I could walk in from work. He'd be sitting right there at okay. the, the door. To, Hi. Chad Daybell opening statements tomorrow. <laughs> he'd come up and he'd lay on my lap and give me pressure therapy. That's crazy nice. Mormon guy. That's hilarious. Yeah. Doomsday prophet, you got <laughs> the chat start going crazy. Doomsday, doomsday couple. That's all. Yeah, no, I know exactly who you guys are talking about now. Back, Those two are so fucking we nutty. Didn't want him to have to Wild suffer, people. So we had him put down to ensure that he didn't have to. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, we had to do that once too. We had a big black lab. For a long time. And he, I remember I actually years. wore, uh, for a while yeah. before I got arrested, I actually wore his collar around my uh, wrist. Uh, I remember a while Oh, point. and look, I just realized he has a whole notepad and a pen in his hand. No, okay, he's definitely, he has a memoir or he has a, a journal he's going to make or he's going to do something freaky because bro has a whole, a whole note, wait. He has a whole notepad in his hand. What the fuck? You guys are seeing this, right? But chill, though. But chill. You guys see that notebook right there, right? He's writing a book. Yo, Jeskins, I swear to God, you're preaching this up and down the streets. But I, I don't I don't not believe you. There's a whole ass notepad and a pen, and he's not even hiding this shit. He's like, yeah, I'm going to put money on your books, bitch, and you're going to tell me what I want to fucking know. And you're gonna talk to my fucking son. The fuck you, fuck you think this shit is? <laughs> oh. 
I'd gone to stretch while I was walking, and you know how some light fixtures have that sort of dome that casts the light upward? For those, but the dome was broken. Yeah. And the shard of glass would have likely gone into the main artery of my wrist if it hadn't been for the collar. Yeah, the collar caught it. It was like, oh my goodness. you know, he was still there or watching. Wow. It, it caught on the collar on that was you on my wrist. Or on the dog? My, uh, Shonda oh, always liked okay, big wow. dogs. She just couldn't That's do the little scary. mini ones. Which I could understand at this point with how big I've gotten. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I had a chihuahua, I'd risk unintentionally yeah. hunting it across the room when I wasn't paying attention. Uh, how, t- six, how tall are you? Two, six, three. I'm taller than my brother, that's for sure. It's like Isaac, he's really tall. My older brother. Okay. Wow. Hey, let's talk about Nolan real quick, if we can. Um, I was watching the video yep. of uh, when they sent and shot. Who's your daddy? <laughs> I did not yeah, see I it, saw, no. Did you see that, by chance? Did Paul just say he's big? <laughs> you guys got me cracking up. A lot of what I saw really worried me for you. I just, uh... Well, I'll just leave that there. Very you, much so. Do you get along with your brother still, Paul? Is he hoping uh, to, that you're going to I don't know about Freed, but he's, or? you know... Like I am, he's hoping for the best, but expect. I have an autistic son who's still young, but if he needed help finding friends, I don't think I would say, hey, son, let's go down and get a play date for you at the jail. That shit, that shit is outrageous, right? That shit is wild. And I highly doubt your autistic son will have any trouble having friends. There's the, the shit. He'll, he'll be the smart one out of the whole group, more than likely. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm going to send you a uh, postcard here soon with my contact information. Would you be able to tell me how to get a hold of Nolan? Uh, like yeah, address, I can do that. An email or phone number? Okay. I would like you to do that. Just tell me how to get a hold of Nolan. Do you have any other friends um, that's trying to help you, like an aunt or uncle? I or? haven't really talked to my Uncle David or Aunt Linda. They're... Um, my Uncle David is my is Shonda's sister. I don't exactly know which side he's on. I haven't had any sort of contact with him. Uh, but And nothing really on my dad's side that I've had contact with either. And the uh, thing is, I was, saying in, I was saying earlier that, you know, Paul is so stupid he doesn't even realize that... He, Paul is so stupid he doesn't realize that Randy's siphoning information and taking information and he's just over here talking like an idiot... Listen, Paul knows what the fuck this is. Paul is just so money hungry. He don't give a fuck. He's just going to go ahead and fucking... He's just going to go ahead and talk so that he could get that money. He's basically just hauling himself out. Long story short. Uh, my dad sends money when he can yeah. for commissary, but at the moment, his work is kind of, you know, slow. So. Yeah. And my stepmother... Sure. Has to basically live from paycheck to paycheck. So. Okay. Yeah, he he, he and Your my stepmother are divorced, Florida? but they are roommates still. Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know his dad. Damn, he's giving us. Hold on, he's talking about his dad. That this is some <laughs> this is some nasty work, bro. He's talking all about his. We didn't know that. Paul, you didn't have to say that. That shit is crazy. He's like, fuck it. I, this man is giving me money. I'll snitch on my dad. My dad don't even fuck with me. I'm just going to give him that information for no extra reason. Like, yeah, they broke up, but they're still roommates. You know, you know, they just, that's crazy. Snitching. So, okay. Yeah, he, he, he and Your my stepmother are divorced, but they are roommates still. Paul, see, this is what this is what you call no social awareness. This is not something you tell a fucking stranger about your family. 
Oh. All right. Did your dad, uh, um, have you been involved at all he in drove this trial? my stepmother he up here up to watch Shonda's trial, I guess. And visited with, they both visited with me a little bit okay. after. Yeah. Did they? Okay. And, uh, I. All right. I'm sorry. Yes. Your dad, that's Timothy's dad, too? Is he Tim? Okay. And my sister, who you probably also saw, does not want anything to do with me. Yeah, I saw that, Paul. It was hard to listen to that. Um, Which she is... seems to be angry towards you as well. Uh, Did you get along with we her? We mostly just stayed out of each other's way. Okay. Yeah. Is she, is she younger than you? I guess of the biological is siblings this? now, I'm the middle. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to try, uh, when I get your postcard back, I'm going to try and get a hold of Nolan. I think we got to start moving pretty quick here because you said you're 26 sentencing of February. Is the 27th. All right. I'll also have um, to contact him and ensure that that's um, okay with him, if that's all right. Yeah. Absolutely. If he, yeah, if you can just explain who I am and how our family is trying to help you, and I would just like a very friendly conversation with him, just yep. find out what his thoughts are. To find out what his thoughts are, this guy has no shame. He, I bet you he'd pull out the notepad in front of his brother too. He'd be like, yeah, so Nolan, how do you feel about your brother, you know, starving your, your smaller brother to death? You know, like, like you, you guys had the same father, right? And looks down, starts writing his little heathers and shit. That shit, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I just now realized the notepad. I don't know if he, j if he had it the whole time, but I think this is the first time it's visible. But he don't care. And I mean, plot twist, maybe his whole family supports the book he's making. And he's and they're like, yeah, we, we're going to make some money with this shit. You want us to come into the video and make him feel more comfortable? Yeah, fuck that kid. Let's. It could be a whole thing. Be like, hey, babe, I need you to. Hey, son, you guys want to come into this little video call with me? I have this whole book planned for this crazy case. But I think. I think it'll open them up if he sees like a family structure, right? So just 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 sit down next to me and act like we're just all interested to talk to him. That shit would be a crazy twist. I would respect them a lot more if that's actually what's going on. If that's actually what's going on, I would respect Randy a lot more. And then it's like, oh, okay, then he wasn't serious. He was just trying to get information and his family, there's some riders. But I don't know, at this point, I feel like I'm just trying to make excuses for him because, but it's possible. It is possible. That notepad gives me a whole new world of, of thought now. Now it just makes me feel like his wife loves him. So she'll just do this dumbass video for him. His son is like, damn, pops might make a little money off this shit. Why not? Like, you know, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Hopefully that's the case. Y'all yeah. think. Well, I'll just hopefully he'll want to talk to you. Yep. He'll let me email him or something. That's my goal. Somebody just said those teeth. December cat. Yo, those teeth are diabolical. <clears throat> you know, if you you could get lost in somebody's eyes, right? You look at Paul, you get lost in his teeth. That's how serious that shit is. That shit is serious. That would be best. Um. All right. Well, we got about four minutes left here. I was thinking, um, because your trial date or your sentencing is coming close, I'm going to try and just keep in contact okay. with you more frequently now just to get updates. Uh, yeah, can I that'll work. contact you Monday at 1 o'clock? All right. Um, when I'm done, when we're done. The sun I'm hasn't gonna... moved once. <laughs> Listen, he's, uh, he's doing this for dad, all right? He's doing this for pups. He doesn't have much of he he doesn't have much interest, but he's showing face so that pops could get this info. Okay, leave him alone. He's Monday, cool. I'll, uh, he's chilling. I'll set up an appointment for Monday at one. 
I'll probably Monday Very put some so. more money like in your that. commissary if that's okay. See, listen. No, you guys were not lying. Every time he gets a good chunk of information, like, listen, he got some information. We just found out that through Paul's own mouth that his dad is divorced from his stepmom, but they're just roommates. Okay, good job, Paul. Good job, bitch. Here's some money. Here's some commissary. Lick that off the floor. I'll see you next week. That shit is crazy. That's exactly what's happening. You Somebody had pointed that out earlier. I'm Check it out. When we're done with this, then Monday I'll... Uh... I'll set up an appointment for Monday at one. I'll probably Monday Very put some so. more money like in your that. commissary if that's okay. I'll put a little money in your commissary if that's okay. Of course it's okay, Randy. It's the whole reason he's talking to you. <laughs> okay. Um, and yes, then um, Monday also I'll drop in the mail. I'll try to this yeah. postcard with yeah. our contact yeah. information. Maybe I'll have Isaac's email on there, too, if you want to yeah. try and kind of... What's up, Tara? Probably take a couple of days to get to me because the guards here can be stingy. Yeah, you safe there, uh, Paul? I uh, am. I'm in uh, the I mean, protected uh, pod. Are you safe there, Paul? We don't want them to shank you before we get all the information. Hey, I would be coming shameless, too. Listen... I'm probably not the most approachable person for Paul. He would have saw a black guy with dreads and been like, oh, <laughs> he would have been scared. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to talk to him. But, you know, a nice older white man with the family and the dog, you get some information. You get that, you get that shit popping. Um, this was definitely a motive. Randy is lying to his face, and I feel like Paul knows it, and he's just going with it because fuck it, commissary. Fuck it. <laughs> Mostly it's uh, okay. CSC and other stuff like that. People who are older and more, uh, I guess not frail, but more likely to be victimized by bigger, younger inmates. That's crazy. He, damn, he just admitted to his own, damn. Instead of hitting them push-ups at night, getting your body in tune with your mind. <laughs> Paul's like, yeah, I'm frail as fuck, bro. They got to put me in PC. They going to kill me. The fuck are you talking about? I am frail. Put me in PC. At least he's self-aware to that degree. There has to be money plot behind this for sure. No, 1,000%. His family's doing this for him. That's why they're so stiff and animated. Not animated. Lack of animation. They're doing this for him. They're like, yo, listen, Randy's going to make a little money. Let's just do this for him because, you know, why not? Yeah. I, yeah. We, we're really worried for you. We pray for you because um, that's a very hard environment. He I've won't be in him. PC forever. I, I think he can be. Why not? He's going to be a bitch forever, so why not stay in PC forever? The fuck? It's not like they're going to. It's not like PC is going to go extinct one day. Fuck it. They're not going to, like, I feel like prisons make money off of their inmates. They're not going to just leave him out there to die. They're going to take one look at Paul when he comes into the real prison. And they're going to be like, yeah, yeah, no, we don't even need to read his charges. Just, just throw him in PC real fast. Like, it's, it's, it's all good. Yeah, no. Jail, but yeah. I've worked with some really hard convicts before, so... I just, I'm glad to hear that you're doing okay. Is there anything in particular um, you need from the commissary? Or? Need? Randy is mad at YouTubers because uh, he wants the exclusive. Well, listen there, buddy. This is all free information. You, you, like, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like I go to the jail call. I do all the securists, the app mobile, uh, boom, boom, boom. I pay to, to get on the thing, boom, boom. And I go up there. Guess what? I'm there publicly, so I drop it on my channel, right? I drop it on my shit, and then somebody gets my video and does a reaction to it. Or they cut me, uh, they, they cut me out and, and they, they use the footage. Like, bro, the footage is out there. The footage is out. Like, I would be a bitch to go over to him and be like, hey, man, that's fucked up. I said, uh, that's supposed to be. Nah, it doesn't work like that, bro. We live in the United States of America. It's a beautiful place. It's a big, it's a beautiful place. We could all eat. That's all I'm saying. We could all eat. So 
you're just gonna have to get over it. Uh, yeah. I mean, Are you staying warm at night. Or? I, I, I wouldn't say I need a pillow. I mean, I have a makeshift one because the pillows of the commissary are like thirty. Yeah, I've calls with Paul and his fiance. I really want to hear those. I'm, <clears throat> I'm starting to put out pieces on my Patreon. Some things I have to edit. So. Yeah, but it's gonna be it's all gonna be public info soon. So it's not a complete plug, like obviously fuck with your boy, check out his Patreon. But if you're not trying to do all that shit, you're still gonna you're still gonna end up hearing it. Five bucks. Which is ludicrous. Yeah. Vinyl. They better be really Vinyl soft pillows. Know, right? That is a lot of money for a pillow. Yellow but <laughs> yeah. okay. Donna, are you crazy? Well, we'll see what we can but do here. I, I, I'm probably also the dog. I'm going to be oh, sending letters. I tried to get post or envelopes and paper and pens when I can, but it's hard to get some of that too. No, no, no. JoJo's not his fiance. It's some other chick. Period. And as of, I think as of forever, and, I'm not going to release it. Like whatever jail calls we do or whatever external people enter the situation we're going to call them by a different name or just no name because i don't need the hassle of people they, you guys are too savvy on the internet you, you're all going to find the person and start doing craziness so to avoid that I'm, I'm gonna be like yeah we don't need another name we just need to hear their voice and be like damn this this chick is a little unhinged over here but it's as far as we need to go not just because of inflation it's because they want yeah. more money. That's just how this jail works. Wow. Right. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna repeat shit. That's all you guys. You guys speak all amongst right. yourselves. I can't <laughs> think of anyone else wanna say something before we nice hang to up? meet you both. No, it was just it was nice to meet you, Paul. Get to know you a little bit. Yeah. I will. Um, just take care. Yeah, and if you can think of uh, anyone else, I know that I can reach out to. Like, Joanne. Maybe ask her if I can contact her as well. Um, I mean, the more people, I'm going to start trying to yep. get a lot more people involved in this. So, and hopefully just um, send, yep. have a lot of people sending messages to the judge that you're, you're really not a bad person. You're a very good person and. No, no, no. So is it safe to say that Paul's girlfriend could be a... No, 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 no. She's real. She speaks and she has a... And she speaks a fucking lot. She speaks like an engine. She's very real. <laughs> she's very fucking real. And she's... Yeah. Um, she's not imaginary. And she's not forced. She seems very... You like... You know when, when you know a girl like just wants to like... She wants you. Like if you... You end up alone together, something's going to happen. She wants you. It's obvious she's making you know that. It's, she is letting you know this. You are receiving this message. It's like that. It's no question about if she's forced it. No, she wants She wants your boy. She wants the vampire boy. So, yeah. Yeah. Twisted environment for a while. Uh, <laughs> very <laughs> jealous. <laughs> She know. is, yo. No, we're gonna get into that shit. I, yeah, we're gonna get into that shit. Don't worry about it. We'll just try and work all that yep. out once we get you out. That's Gotta take it one day at a time for now. All right. We gotta break out the box, people. I heard right, you, well, Helen. You gotta you break out this out. box, whatever the fuck that means. Break out the box movement, 2024. Break the box. Fuck yeah. Shout out Paul. Hashtag Paul Fergie. Fergie P, whatever the fuck his name is. Paul Fergie, that was, that was his name. I think that was it. It's about to run out in 30 seconds here. But you hang okay. in there, buddy. And I'll Baby girl is a crackhead. Nah, you guys are mean. Bye. Stop it. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Paul.